So I'm DVD unhauling today and I have to say I'm fairly impressed with most of these. One or two weren't as good as I hoped. First up, haha, ha, Halloween 2! I really didn't like the first Halloween but I really want to get into the franchise so I really hoped I'd like this. I did. I think it was just, it was brilliant. It really was brilliant and very gory and gruesome and a very surprise ending for me so I would definitely recommend it. Scream 2 was just as good as the first one. This one might have actually been better. I'm kind of torn between whether I prefer the first or the second Scream film but I absolutely cannot wait for the third one. Courtney Cox was really good in these and she's so good as Gail Weathers. I think she's fantastic and yet again I was wrong with who it was. Maybe the third one I'll get it right. The next one's been sitting in my unhaul pile for quite a while. And yeah, I can still remember everything in it. This is The Winter Guest. This is Phyllida Law and Emma Thompson. Obviously I watched this only for Emma Thompson but I continued watching it because it was amazing. It's about this woman and her mother and they have a very weird relationship and also her son as well. And it's just so heartbreaking. Like nothing that I would personally say particularly upsetting happens. It's just the way their relationship is and you're watching it and it's so raw and so real. And there's a cat called Fanny in it who's absolutely beautiful and it's set in Scotland and she has a Scottish accent. Being Scottish that makes me very happy. It's gorgeous. I cannot recommend the Couture collection enough. I'd already seen Devil's Wear, Devil Wears Prada. 27 Dresses was so funny, so much fun. It's about this woman who's, uh, she runs this bridesmaid service and she's a bridesmaid for people who don't have bridesmaids. And In Her Shoes was so good. I loved Cameron Diaz in that. It's a really heartwarming story. Tony Collette was very good as well. And if you've seen none of these or only some of these, I definitely recommend this pack. Another trilogy that actually turned out better than expected is this one here. So I bought this because I wanted to see my super ex-girlfriend. Uma Thurman is brilliant as this woman who has superpowers. She's called G-Girl and she's brilliant. And I didn't realise Anna Faris was in it and I love her so that was a really good surprise. John Tucker Must Die was better than I expected. And as much as I hate to admit it, I rather enjoyed Just My Luck. Uh, I didn't think I would, I really thought I would not like it at all, but it was a nice relaxing film where somebody with really good luck switches luck with somebody with really bad luck and there's a little bit of karma going on there and it, it's sweet, it, it's nice. Because I can never have enough Emma Thompson, I also watched Bride's Head Revisited, wow. This is about one man who is homosexual in a time when that's really not allowed and also another character with whom he maybe dabbles a little bit but the other character's not quite um he's more bisexual than anything else and there's this gorgeous stately home and there's this very disapproving mother <sighs> it's, it's the best of british it really screams british 19 whatever's uh, i'm not entirely sure 1925 and it's set in Oxford and we have all this beautiful Oxford architecture in the Bodleian and visually it's stunning, the story's really emotive, Michael Gamba's in it, Ben Wishaw, Emma Thompson, it's just, I, I cannot praise this film enough. I'll save the best till last and we will go penultimately, this is 40. I got this for two reasons, well I guess three reasons. Um, first of all, I thought it sounded good. Second of all, and third of all, Leslie Mann and Paul Rudd, both of whom are actors I adore and I thought it would be fantastic. Paul Rudd and Leslie Mann were brilliant and I thoroughly enjoyed their performances in this and it is quite comical but at the same time it wasn't that good. Like it was great but because I put it on such a high pedestal I was just a little bit disappointed because it wasn't a laugh out loud funny but it is a nice rom-com. Jason Siegel's in it as well. It's just it is really good and I would definitely recommend it but don't expect 100% laughter as I did. And lastly, Bewitched, Nicole Kidman and Will Ferrell. Wow, 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 why had I not seen this before? Why did nobody demand that I watched this? It's about a company that's remaking Bewitched, the TV show, and they hire this real life witch. Of course, they don't know she's a witch, and there's a lot of magic going on there because I grew up watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I love anything that sets magic in the mortal realm. And it's just so wonderful and so good and from start to finish I was hooked, I was captivated, I didn't know where the story was going. It's not cheesy and cliche, it's so funny and I cannot recommend it enough. 
So for the most part, I've had a pretty good run of films. These are not all of the DVDs I've watched recently, but the other ones were just mediocre and not really worth mentioning, neither good nor bad. But I would definitely recommend, I, th I would recommend all of these, but some certainly more than others. If I had to pick a favourite out of them all, I would say Bewitched, Bride's Head Revisited, and Scream. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any suggestions for films you should think I should check out, I would love to hear them. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.